709, Michael is in for us this week. Good morning, Michael. Good morning to you, Mary. I wanted to know, I don't know why the reporter didn't ask this, how does she get the dog to talk? I don't know. It's amazing. It's quite yeah, a skill. very interesting. Uh, thanks, <laughs> Mary. It is a, a weird uh, morning this morning. Some great conditions, a little wet out there. We just haven't seen this type of moisture in quite some time. We'll touch on those numbers in a moment. Here's what it is uh, doing out there currently. It's just five degrees, some on-off showers. It's lightened up along the coast. We're still getting some wetter weather inland. We have more wet weather on the way. A little breezy too. Wind out of the east at 17 kilometers per hour. Humidity relatively high at 93 uh, percent. Here is what we're looking at. How the day plays out. First wet weather since March 11th and we've only had six wet days for the entire month of March totaling just over 21 millimeters. Remains unsettled into the afternoon. Good chance for some pop-up showers, some isolated thunderstorms, even some small size hail and that will stretch into to tomorrow as well. Taking a look at some of the temperatures across the area, just three degrees in Chilliwack, six in Agassiz, fives and sixes across the area, four degrees in West Vancouver, a little cooler there. Take a look at the snowfall warnings we have up through the Peace Country, both in BC and on the other side of the border in Alberta. Lots of snow coming down up there. We even have snow on the North Shore Hills, uh, snow lines down to about 900 meters this morning. Uh, we are seeing a rotation, that low pressure center just coming across the island. You can see the circulation uh, developing there. Take a look at some of this isolated shower uh, instability precipitation moving across the island. We do have a bit of a gap between the wave that is now moving off to the western parts of the valley and the next round that's on the way still out and over the island coming in for the afternoon. And here's what it looks like on the future cast. You can hardly see some of those breaks, but lots of instability as that low slowly slumps down to the uh, south. That takes us into Tuesday morning. Tuesday afternoon starts to dry out a little bit and then heading into Wednesday, the system gets far enough away that we'll start to get some gradual clearing through the afternoon. Today, on off showers, isolated thunderstorms. Don't be shocked by a little bit of light hail. It will be isolated in nature. A little bit more of that tomorrow with a high of 10 degrees. Partly sunny on Wednesday. Back into the wet weather for Thursday, Friday, and even Saturday. We do have some sunshine returning to wrap up the forecast stretch. 12 degrees and partly sunny on Sunday. That's a check on your weather. How are yeah. you doing this morning, Thor? How I'm was good. your weekend? You had me at isolated tea storms. I love that graphic. It's pretty wild, man. Got a short it up, yeah. We had a nice self-isolating weekend. We went out a little bit for a walk, but it was uh, pretty much a cabin fever around mm -hmm. the house. Yeah. Thanks, Goose. Good to see you, my friend.